a Budweiser and pour yourself the most inviting glass of beer you've ever tasted. Sure. Cold, golden Budweiser with that good taste for good times. So go ahead. Live life every golden minute of it. Enjoy Budweiser. Every golden drop of it. Budweiser beer is for folks who know where there's life. Like teeth, I can the bar for men both brave and bold. It warms my heart to serve them all the ale with brewer's gold. Enjoy that golden flavor, true ale flavor. All the Valentine's ale with brewer's gold. Brewmasters know this brewer's gold, the best cup from the vine. They brew it into Valentine for flavor genuine. It's got that golden flavor, true ale flavor. Remember, friend, ale is the trend. Enjoy the genuine. For ale that's really light and gold just makes the three ring sign. Enjoy that golden flavor, true ale flavor, all that Valentine. It's the genuine. Ale with true ale Rosé, a fresh, bright pink wine, a party wine, a picnic wine, a beautiful dinner wine. Try Gallo Grenache Rosé, chilled or over ice, and discover just how refreshing wine can be. Now it says that I'm supposed to have a tray with soup and... Oh, bless your sweetheart. Oh, you handsome man, you... This is supposed to be a slim, graceful vase of flowers. <laughs> it looks pretty short and fat and dumpy. But anyhow, you get the idea. Spring, April in Paris, May in the Bronx. and a bowl of soup and you. <laughs> Fresh cut flowers and soup. Sure, that's a good springtime dish. A bowl of the freshest tasting, most delicious chicken noodle soup you ever had. And you make it out of an envelope that comes in a box like that. Lipton chicken noodle soup. There are three envelopes in that in that, uh, we got the whole business here, look. Everything is on a board. Those are all the brands that Lipton makes. But how about some of that chicken noodle soup for spring? You cook it in 10 minutes. Makes four to six servings each, depending on whether you really love soup or not. You know, just want a little bit. All you want, all you want is just a little cup, a little bowl. As you start the meal, it's good for your insides. There's plenty of noodles in there. A 
And there's chicken there, too. You won't find it, but it's there. There's chicken. <laughs> Guaranteed is chicken. Guaranteed. If you find any, uh, bring it to us, will you? But it's there. And it's delicious. Really delicious. Because you make it yourself, like you do all the other Lipton soups. Lipton chicken noodle, onion soup, green pea soup, beef vegetable soup, or tomato vegetable soup. And that green pea soup, oh boy. They're all good. And the reason that they're good is that what you buy here are ingredients. It's not a canned soup that you just add water to and heat. No, no. You cook these. These are ingredients. It takes eight to ten minutes, depending on the kind of soup. You cook it yourself. It's homemade, and therefore it has that flavor. And it has the flavor of the kind of soup that ordinarily, if you were to make it the old-fashioned way, would take hours of simmering on a hot stove all day. You do it in ten minutes. Sure, I know, when you go in the grocery store, there are all those cans that are so easy to pick up, and you have to go way on down until you find the Lipton envelopes. But do it one time. Remember to do it once and try it. I think you'll stick with it. You'll find that the difference is worth the little extra effort. They are delicious soups made by Lipton. Try them. Uh, Lipton always likes it if I take a taste. I will therefore take a taste. Oh, look, look. See all the noodles in there? Chicken. Chicken. Oh, that is so good. Oh. Let me put it down. I'd like to have some more later. I'll put this away so we can see our next talent scout while I guzzle the soup. Hey, 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 that supply of Ritz seems on the fritz. No, no, stop, darling. Don't blow your top. I always keep another box handy. Dandy! He knows Ritz crackers are richer, crisper, and his mouth is full, or he'd help us whisper. Only Nabisco bakes Ritz! Fifty to sixty years ago, people were introduced to peanut butter for the first time. They looked it over carefully. The daring and courageous bought it. Well, children loved it. But Ma and Pa were more critical. They discovered it had several drawbacks. It became oily and sticky and didn't stay fresh very long. It was rather hard to digest. It didn't taste like peanuts. Grown-ups never became peanut butter fans until 1933, when a new kind of peanut butter started to appear in grocery stores. It looked different. It smelled different. It tasted different. It had practically nothing in common with the old-style product. 